welcome to the J29 Business Simplified channel. My name is Erwin. If it's your first time on our channel, welcome. In today's video, we will be looking at financial management software. The bonus is that this software is actually for free and you can find it online. Now, I know as business owners, many times we hear people making statements like financial management is critically important for your business. And I suppose we do understand that. But going beyond that, where do we start as business owners and entrepreneurs with managing our finances? And the first part, I think, is when it comes to record keeping. How do you keep accurate financial records? In one of our blogs we wrote on our um, website, you find that we spoke about a software called Wave Accounting, which is free. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at Wave Accounting and simply show you how do you use Wave Accounting to do your invoicing, your receipts, uh, quotations, and how does Wave help you analyze your business? Who are your top paying customers? What is actually happening with your money? Now, there's two ways you can go about managing your business finances. Outsource it completely. But if you do not understand what's happening in your business every day in, with your finances, you make it very difficult to understand where do you go about growing your business, where do you cut your expenses. So let's get right into it and we'll show you exactly how Wave Accounting can be very useful, easy to use and free to help you manage your business finances better. So here we are in Wave Accounting. You simply need to go to this link address. I will also put this in the description of this video so that you can just click on it to get into the website. There's a few options when you're getting to Wave Accounting. Firstly, as we mentioned before, it's free. You can sign up with your email address and then you need to choose a password, get started, or you can sign in with your Google account. Once you've done that in future, when you go in, you can just click on the sign in now. So once you're in Wave Accounting, you will see on the left hand side is the interface and this is where you will start off. So in my case, it shows demo company because I've set that up for this tutorial. In your case, it will say start a new company. You'll click on that icon and once you're there, it will ask you a few questions. Things like the name of your business, what type of business is it? Is it a sole prop, a PTY and it will also ask you for options for your country and if you are based in South Africa yes all the provinces in South Africa are registered and available so once you've done that process and you come into wave you find this is your dashboard and this is probably the starting point of starting to use wave accounting so let's get started I will be taking you through all of these links on this side your company name will show instead of demo company where I have demo company you probably find the name of the company that you have put in and the first step is to actually start getting paid for your work second step organize your finances and number three is to capture your receipts the great thing about wave is that there's also a, an app that you can take photos of your receipts that will get uploaded in here so let's get started with the getting paid for your work tab first And this is where you set up your invoicing for your business. So let's take an example. Firstly, you can upload a logo. In this case, I'm not uploading a logo, but you need to save it to your computer. You can upload your logo. This is really nice that you can choose the co colors of your company. So for example, if I'm looking for my company color, let's say is blue or turquoise. I can choose that color and you can see that it's starting to change on this side. So if I'm happy with the color, I can also look at the type of invoices I want for my business. So if I like this one or not, I can click to the next one. Okay, let's say I like this one. So I choose this one, I say, looks great, let's go. So this is what my invoice will look like. So if you get onto this page, it would show your logo if you've uploaded it. It will show you that this is your company. You can add a company address and contact details on you if you'd like to. You can add a customer. Without adding a customer, you're not going to have the option to actually 
do anything. So I'm going to actually go in here and add a customer. Let's say we'll call it um, my customer is called simply simply new. We'll just make a email address simply new at gmail.com. We'll put in a Let's say the contact person is level say Vampir. Okay, we'll save the customer. So you can see it's already updated that. Now, if you do have many customers for your business, you can choose a different custom every time you go in. Really nice is that you got the invoice date, which is today's date, and we can say that we want the payment date. Let's say, for example, we want them to pay within 15 days or on receipt so we'll say 15 days item let's say our business is selling um <clears throat> beauty products so we'll say here shall and we'll say shall tax you're going to say the tax name is VAT. Tax rate is 15%. This is a recoverable tax. If your business is not registered for VAT, you of course do not need to complete this. So it'll say VAT at 15%. And we'd say that label was ordering five bottles of gel. And we have not yet added any products as yet so what we need to do here is we can put the amount in for now let's say it's a hundred rand each so it's gonna be 500 rand that's it's 100 rand each so it'll be 500 includes the vet i've already put in the um the currency south african currency as well edit the notes you can say thank you for doing business with demo Payments is required in 15 days. Okay, great. Additional option. Yeah, you can put in your banking details. So let's say it's always important to have the banking details on your invoice so that clients don't need to phone you and find out, okay, what are the banking details? Let's say they're banking at Capitec. Capitec. We can tab and we can say account number. <coughs> Pardon me. A couple of zeros. We'll say branch code. Branch code eight. And we'll save and continue. But if you do click on here, you can save and send save and record payment but let's click on save and send so there's a few options here you can send it by wave you can use gmail or outlook depending on which service provider you're using and you can send your email from that directly to your clients but what i want us to see here is that we've created a really good looking invoice for our client so if you have a look at what we've just done now is that we put in our company colors you can it's got the dates it's your first invoice and all you have to do is just send this to your client it'll also put on a receipt to say when the client has noted that the, has seen the the invoice as well you can go back in and edit the invoice or you can actually skip sending the invoice if you do not want to send it and that's quite simply just the process of creating an invoice in wave and I, this will really make your your business look much more professional so you can also create another invoice more actions you can duplicate this invoice you can export it as a pdf which means you can save it onto your computer and then you can share it with your customer from your email if you want to attach it as an as an item specifically or you can actually delete it for this demo i'm just going to delete the invoice As you can see, it's gone. 
if we go back to the left hand side you see there's also estimates now estimates is quotations for example if before you actually send an invoice to a client you can actually create a quote and it will follow exactly the same process as you've done when you've done the uh, invoice you can also convert your quote or your estimate into an invoice at a later stage other options you have your recurring invoices so if you're billing a client every month at the same time you can put in the details by creating a recurring invoice um, and this will automatically bill your customer at a certain time of the month if you're billing them monthly there's also customer statements and this gives you a good idea at this point in time we do not yet have any customer set up in this demo in this demo but once you have custom invoices it will give you a report as well customers what i would suggest doing is that when you have your your wave accounting set up is to actually go and add your customers for your business you could actually import them in from a csv or from your google contacts csv you need to put your customers details in an excel spreadsheet and you can import them right into wave and the information that we'll be looking for is the name the email the phone number so add all your customers first so that when you're making an invoice or quotation you can simply use the drop down menu to select them also set up your products and services so for your business if you specifically in this case let's say we're not only selling hair gel we're adding many other products instead of adding it on each and every single um invoice typing it in you can uh, simply just add it here we can say you're selling nail polish description nail polish you can put your price in and so it's 350 you say you sell this you can put your sales tax you can say batters on because you've already added and you can let's go to your sales account we also have services and you can save it now when you go back into your invoice and you're making an invoice for clients you simply click on the drop down and it will show you all the products that you do have for your business automatically it saves you lots of time in invoicing on the purchases tab you what bills receipts vendors products and services so maybe that's your suppliers bills that you need to pay um it's important that <clears throat> you your business probably does have monthly expenses you can create bills showing what is it that you're paying every month um i'm going to skip over to accounting now this gets done automatically for you so as you invoicing and as you're doing receipts you find that your information will all be captured into the the different kinds um, of, of accounts that you need to do so that's kind of automated for you which is really uh, simple very importantly to save you time you can connect your bank account the alternative is to upload your bank statements from an excel spreadsheet or you can enter your income and expenses manually now if you connect your bank banks in south africa are listed on waves uh, on wave accounting so what happens is when your bank account is connected all your transactions are automatically brought into wave there is still a step where you need to maybe go and make sure that the expenses are, are listed correctly and uh, that will help you get better control because when your bank account is connected if you do go that route it will help you with developing a cash flow projection to show you how your expenses are and your income are, are compared each month it will actually show you a graph of what your income and expenses look like and then we go to banking this is simply also again where you can connect your bank account when you click on there you search for your bank all south african banks are listed there and payroll payroll is not available in south africa it's only available in the us and in canada at the moment and then the last tab is your reports so because this is a demo company you'd find that none of these reports would have any information at the moment however once you start using wave you'll find that these different kinds of reports which are very important for your business especially the first three 
will automatically be populated and you will have information to um, focus and and look at how your business is actually performing so you'll firstly have your income statement to balance sheet cash flow extremely important um, something else is that you need to look at is, is your taxes in order your income by customer which customers are giving you uh, the most income and that helps you understand how do you step up your service so i'll click on the cash flow tab as you can see there's not much happening here at the moment you get the option to choose the dates and you can see it shows you all of this information as soon as your business starts operating and this is what you can actually use to take to the bank uh, when you are looking for maybe for finance in future so i hope this tutorial was helpful wave was extremely helpful i think this is the first step of you actually getting your financial affairs and your business in order once you set up start using it gives your company a professional look and put a comment in the in the video and tell us what you think of using wave in the months to come we will also review other software that's available for businesses wave is free so enjoy using it